All right, welcome to Crowley Lake Stone Columns, uh, this really little scenic area right along the shores of Crowley Lake here in the eastern part of the Sierras, north of Bishop, between Bishop and Lee Vining. Um, super crowded day here, so it's a little busy, but let's see if we can work through this geology a little bit and show some of these features. So this is all part of the Bishop Tuff that was deposited when the Long Valley Caldera formed 767,000 years ago. Um, these are all pyroclastic flow deposits from that eruption. And what's interesting here is we have these, these columns, these uh, sort of stately, mostly rounded and cross-section columns. Usually the lake is a little bit lower and you can see down along the shoreline, there's some really picturesque ones there. But, um, so these were all part, we're just outside the caldera here, and these are all part of the Bishop Tuff that erupted, again, 767,000 years ago. Um, something has happened that has made the ash here, though, the Tuff, much harder than it would be otherwise. And the leading idea that the USGS has published just a few years ago is that as this pyroclastic sheet raced down to the south out of the caldera um, it covered part of the owens valley and owens river area that was kind of wet marshy ground and that that heated up the ash and those hot fluids and gases were rising up through the sheet of ash and in the process of doing so precipitated out a mineral a zeolite mineral uh, called mordenite so that there's a specific mineral that worked its way into the pore spaces of the tuff and solidified it and made it much harder than it would be otherwise. Um, and that's what formed the columns here. So the idea would be that, that the fluids coming up through the ash sheet were spaced out. And these are the conduits then for the ash sheet as it was rising that makes up these columns here. Again, it's like super crowded. I had no idea there was gonna be like two big groups here because it's actually quite a tricky spot to get to um but it's a saturday do what you can so so a nice little view of the them from up top and then we'll go look at the rocks here up close here in a second we'll go look at these uh pillars let's maybe head this way and get away from the crowds i normally don't like making these things with a big group of onlookers kind of makes me nervous so, yeah, what you might notice though is this, they do crudely look similar to if you watch my video on pinnacles, uh, the pinnacles at Crater Lake, they do crudely resemble those. Remember that the story there at Crater Lake was that those were fumaroles, those were places where the gas was rising and um, through the pyroclastic material and it may and it solidified harder material here the idea the hypothesis is that not as much gas but more actually uh, fluid so more just probably hot water that was on the ground surface water that was heated up by the whoa heated up by the eruption um, and then that moved down the slope so we're a little bit away from the rest of the folks now and getting a little better view of these here. Um, let's find a good spot. It's a little bit slipperier here than I thought. What we can see in the tuff though is pieces of uh, pumice like we've seen previously. So this nice uh, white pumice. In fact, I just knocked some down the hill and the pumice is actually out there floating in the water uh, as you'd expect. Lots of ash, but then also particles of, um, let's see if we can get it in here by this one. Also some pieces of other rocks, little black chips in here, uh, existing rocks, these little xenoliths as well, making up some of the, the Bishop Tuff here. This would probably be, um, based on what, what I just saw at Owens River Gorge, with the color variation, with depth, I would guess that this is pretty high 
or near the surface, the top of the bishop tuft, because we can see individual pumice particles like this one right here um, that aren't squished. So everything looks pretty close to what you'd expect to see near the, the top of the, the pyroclastic material. Uh, let's see if we can get over to this little one here. Because if I slide down this hill, I'm going to end up in the water. So let's maybe move back up this way. And there's about 50 people ready to watch me do that. So that would not be a good look either. Uh, you can see a few more of these across the lake, um, these cylindrical things. And again, looking at them from the top on, you can see uh, they're more rounded in cross section than hexagonal or anything else. So pretty cool. The Crowley Lake stone columns, um, kind of a, well, now I guess it's become pretty popular and it's making its way on social media, but a place um, I hadn't heard of much, but found somewhere, can't remember where, in the literature and thought that it would make a, a nice stop. Has kind of a neat story where these uh, columns have been, and the ash has been hardened by the uh, the fluids moving through it and the precipitation of some material, apparently a zeolite, that makes it much harder. It'd be nice to come back some other time when, you can see how shallow it is down here, some other time when it's a little bit lower and you can walk out to some of the other parts here. So for now, a nice view across Crowley Lake of the Sierras. Thanks for joining me on this little adventure and we'll see you on the next one.